One of the organizations at the forefront of the city's new reading curriculum is now asking the education department to focus on another subject, math. New data shows that city students are struggling in the subject. CBS 2's Doug Williams covers education and joins us now. Doug. Dick and Christine, I could admit that our coverage so far of curriculum issues inside city classrooms is sort of symbolic of the problem. First, we tackled reading and literacy. Next, we'll focus on math, and that seems to be the order in which most educational systems address these two subjects. But experts tell us that not only is math a crisis of equal importance, but the two subjects are also deeply connected. Educators for Excellence is a teacher-led organization, and just like in the classroom, when they speak, people listen. We cannot wait any longer. On Tuesday, they released recommendations for creating and improving quality math instruction. First, by acknowledging the problem, worsened by the pandemic, and yet to recover. According to last year's scores, only 18 percent of city fourth graders were proficient in math with even lower rates among black and Hispanic students. Until they can see that there is a correlation, you cannot do maths if you cannot read. And within the confines of reading under the umbrella, the core of instruction under reading comes all other content area. The report suggests things like a clear set of curriculum options, more resources for teachers, more outreach for underserved communities, and building relationships with parents to keep them in the know. If that all sounds similar to how the science of reading came about, well, that's the point. It is a moment to address the whole child, and that means that we cannot prioritize literacy and only literacy. An opinion seemingly echoed by city schools chancellor David Banks, speaking to CBS 2's Marsha Kramer in Washington about the report. We are absolutely going to come back to the earliest ages and ensure that what we're doing for reading we're doing for math. No matter the curriculum, math presents different challenges to reading. Parents, for example, may be more comfortable reading a book with their kids than doing long division. They're afraid of it because they're like, oh, I, I don't know how to do it that way. I know, I know how to do it this way. Putting that power within the educator's hand could be an effective tool to now lean in and show parents this is how we're doing things in class. These are the materials. This is how it can align with out of school time. And back to today's report, this is not a case of an organization bringing awareness to an issue and expecting it to be ignored. Each person uh, we spoke to in the story went out of their way to credit Chancellor Banks and city schools for already doing the hard work on reading that they had asked for. And now they hope the DOE will take their advice on this as well, guys. So listening to your report carefully, Doug, you said that to under, no, you didn't, but the person, one of the people that you interviewed <laughs> yeah. said that you have to understand math um, in order to understand math, you have to know how to read, right? Yes. So we're, how do you not put the cart before the horse here? Well, that's the challenge because it can take years for uh, the implementation of a new curriculum like uh, New York City Reads uh, to actually show up in testing. And mm -hmm. in implementation doesn't happen overnight. Teachers are, some are very experienced in this and some are just now learning it. So it may be years until we learn if that's working, if that's changing these numbers. And so even if you changed math tomorrow, those two things being correlated, it may be five years until those numbers change. But there are obviously ways in which when you talk to teachers, this improves actual in the classroom instruction. Mm -hmm. But in terms of the testing numbers, I would urge patience. This is a long game thing. 18% proficiency. That's Unbelievable. And shocking. fourth graders. So this is going to be a middle school and lower school thing, less so than just getting to ninth and 10th graders. Long way to go. Yeah. All right, Doug. Thanks. Thank you, Doug. Thanks, guys.